from one online social media guru to another online sensation. I have with us someone who has broken the internet with her very funny skits. Her name is Abibu. She's a Nigerian based in New York, and she's come home for Christmas. And we decided what better way to celebrate the festive season than having Abu with us, Abibu here with us in the studio. Good to have you. Thank Welcome. you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Abibu, I'm curious. Your name. How did you come about it? <laughs> so it's not really an exciting story, but in college, I used to always tack on Boo to everybody's name. So you'd be like Olive Boo. So oh. then my friends caught on to that, and they were like Abby Boo, and oh, it just stuck. Nice. Oh, yeah. nice. So you're okay. one of those really sweet people that give people very sweet names. I do. We have a video I'm of yours. Sweetest. You're the sweetest. I'm the sweetest. No one's sweeter than <laughs> Nobody. You. Oh, wow. Nobody. Very interesting. <laughs> let's, let's go to how you started off doing skits. Abby, tell us about it. Wow. Okay, so another not exciting story, but <laughs> it was uh, during a time in my life where I had a tenant that was destroying my life, destroying my home. She was, it was like a hotel. And so I couldn't yell at her, so I would create another me to yell at. So I would have these conversations with myself every time I got heated. So, and that's just pretty much how it started. Um, and then I, for some reason, people uh, related to what I was talking about. And I was like, oh, wow, OK. Um, let me try something else. And then I came up with the mommy stuff. And she's been my content for everything. My mom is like the number one joker. And so it's very easy to come up with stuff for that. All right. Mm -hmm. OK. So basically, um, for how long have you been doing this? Oh, man, I want to say, I guess this would be year three, two or three, yeah. Okay, and what was that um, skit or joke you made that actually, you know, like, put you out there on the internet? Uh, it has to be something about dieting. <laughs> okay. Uh, something about dieting. That was back when we had 15-second skits, you know? Okay. And you have to tell the story, like, boom, boom, boom. So it was basically me eating chips and complaining about how I'm not losing weight. And I don't know what the issue is. And, you know, just still stuff in my face, you know? <laughs> um, that was pretty much it. And it was very easy at the time because it was real life to me, right? So I do a couple of things like that throughout the year about weight loss because I'm always on a diet. And, you know, I'll be skinny one day like you guys. <laughs> does, that, does that affect you, though? Because there are societal expectations of women and how they should look. At, I feel like there's so much pressure on us and our bodies and our hair and our makeup. How do you handle all of that pressure? Does it get to you? And if yes, how do you handle it? So for me, not really. Um, probably more of the body thing. But as far as my look on like my hair, my makeup and stuff like that, I don't really care. You know, if it was me now, I'd probably just rip this wig off. And these, these la first of all, <laughs> you women in Nigeria, you're peer pressuring me, OK? <laughs> I came here, you know, thinking everything is cool. I'll be OK with my mascara. Everybody I see is like this. <laughs> Every time I'm talking to somebody, all I'm seeing is this. So me, I went and got me some lashes. These things have been, sh have been torturing my life since I put them on today. <laughs> Don't worry. Maybe after the interview, so, you got yeah, I'll just be yanking them off like I'm <laughs> done with you. But um, other than that, like, I really, you know, because for me, I'm just playful fun. You know, it, for me, it's what you see is what you get, you know. Um, I try to be as natural as possible, but, you know, you have those days where you're just tired. Some days I roll up um, out of my bed when I'm excited and I have an idea. Still crust in my eye, I would just wipe it off, you know, brush teeth real quick. Sometimes I don't even brush teeth, I won't even lie. <laughs> but the idea is so fresh in my head that I'm like, I got to do it. So I don't always care about my look so okay. much, yeah. Mm -hmm. when, did, when did negative comments come on social media from time to time? How do you, does it get to you and how do you deal with it? <laughs> Savage <laughs> much. <laughs> Thank you, because, <laughs> because you know what, I don't, I don't go for that um, bullying. You know, I'm here just to have a good time. It's my page, it's my life. I choose to tell my story in my way. So when people have something negative to say about me, I will come back to them. I, I don't really care. <laughs> That's I, petty. I am so petty. For a while, I was only doing skits about how petty I am because I need people to understand that I will come back to you. <laughs> wow. And I won't let it go until I've satisfied myself. Mm. So, um, but mostly because I feel like it's not right for you to, to try to bring someone down for what they're doing. You know, they're just trying to bring smiles to people's faces. And... For me, there's a lot of things out there that I, that I don't necessarily agree with, but that doesn't mean I'm going to go on their page and say, you know what, 
this nonsense you're doing, this looks really stupid, you look dumb, this, you know, I don't do all of that. That's, if I don't like it, I just keep it scrolling. And you I can't think, scroll. And I think people should just do the same thing. When people complain on my page and they follow me, I'll say, you know how to unfollow, right? Just go ahead and click that. That button is your friend, use it. I don't mind, you know, mm. so that's okay. Okay, so still talking about, you know, people making bad comments. There's been this thing about people trolling people. Mm. What do you think about it? Like, mm. not just you now. I'm mm. saying on general knowledge. What do you think about it? Because sometimes if you live in the skits, you uh, uh, online sensations make is sometimes you telling a story that suits you mm -hmm. and not the public. Right. So how do you deal with that? So, you know, there's some comments you just don't respond to, right? There's some that you don't have to worry about um, because you know they're, they're, they're just there to troll, right? But then there are people who follow you um, and you know whatever you just did may have touched them in a different way. So you can address those people and say, you know, I didn't really mean it that way or, you know, I'm sorry you feel that way or, you know, but then what can you do? It's my Speaking opinion. Speaking of that, I will come back and ask you about a particular skit that caused controversy on your page <laughs> about churches. <laughs> and we will talk about it because I know many people are going to church today. But just so you know, in response to the question that she just asked, if I see someone trolling you on your page that isn't even following me, I block them. Mm -hmm. I block them in future <laughs> so that you don't, you know, come on my page with and that negativity. I don't want that negativity mm -hmm. in my space. So I see you saying something nasty about someone else. I block you before you even come to my page. <laughs> so in case I've blocked you and you're wondering, I don't know, Olive, I didn't do anything to her. Just know you've done something to somebody else. It wasn't my business, but I took it first now. <laughs> Let's check out Abby Skid when we come back. We'll still be speaking some more with her. <laughs> what is this one really? <laughs> this just happened in Nigeria a few weeks ago really? where a young lady and a taxi driver went into a war of words because she did not greet him. Mm. And the taxi driver said, you are rude and disrespectful <laughs> because she did not greet me. That's a conversation for another mm. day. Let's talk about your mother. How, mm. how much has your mom influenced your skits? Because oh. I saw a video of your mom. I think your mom is the coolest person. She's a very, you know, she's so dramatic. She's so funny. How has she influenced the, the kind oh of skits gosh. that you make? That's, that is her. That's my mom. Whatever you see me post about her is her all the way. And sometimes she does some things that are so funny that I can't get my phone up fast enough to record it because she's just like all the time, always on 100, right? So she has influenced a lot of my videos that I do um, very much. And a lot of the content I do is probably literally a conversation I had with her and I just remake it with myself. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. So it's usually, yeah, she's very influential in my skits. You know what? And speaking of that, yeah, everywhere I've been going, okay. people say, "How's your mom?" And I'm like, "Well, what about me?" Oh, she's taking all the shine. She's taking all my glory. So. All right, mommy, shout out to you. Well done for doing a great job. <laughs> Very quickly, Abby, um, there was a video that caused controversy on your page. You know, you had talked about churches, and you know, I, I, people should go on your page and look for that video. Churches and Catholics and mm -hmm. Christians, and people took it down the took it the wrong way. Right. How did that get to you when you saw the the, the way, way people were lashing at you? Um. At first, I posted it and I left it alone because you know when you post things, you want to check it every second to see if people are engaging. And I left it and I came back to like so many comments and I was like, oh, well, let me see what I did here. Let me see all the exciting stuff that people are writing to me. And I see, what do you mean Niger Catholics are not Christians? What do you mean? And I was like, wow, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it like that. You know, I meant like, you know, from my personal experience going to Catholic churches as opposed to you know, Baptist Baptists. or anything else, right? I noticed that that's how they behave. I didn't mean to say that they're not Christian. I meant to say Catholics specifically, those Christians are this way in church. This is how they would feel in this kind of church setting where there's more dance and praise, you mm. know, type of worshiping. Um, and the people who wanted to get it got it. And the people who didn't want to get it complained, right? That's the, that's the most you find people on your page, the people who come to complain, right? Um, so because I was petty, I reposted that video again with, with, um, with a different um, caption. Caption, right? Okay. And it said Catholic Christians or something like that. You know, just to specify, I know you're a Christian. I understand all of that. But this is still how you would react in a setting <laughs> where it's dance and praise. It's the same thing, whether you want to get it or not. So I just wanted to prove that point that the caption really didn't change the story. It's just you wanted to focus on that piece and make it your 
your bit of misery to talk about, you know. So I guess it just highlights how sensitive being in the public eye is. Mm -hmm. You're careful of every joke. You're careful of everything you say mm -hmm. and everything you do. Before we let you go, when you're not doing skits, what are you doing? What is your life in New York like? <laughs> um, my life is work. So I work in IT uh, as an operations manager for a very large health system. Um, and I really enjoy it, to be honest. Uh, but right now, my new passion is real estate. So I'll be jumping into that when I get home. Sorry, you said? Real estate. Okay, great. Yeah, girl, I want to buy houses. Hmm. I want to buy, York. I want to flip, I want to build, I want to Wait, decorate. in New York or in Nigeria? In New York. Are then you not coming back? I, I will, I will, for sure. You know, when light, when light is more steady. <laughs> when light is more steady. <laughs> when light is more steady, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because this is the only place I could be sitting in a restaurant and people are talking normal, light go out, and they're still talking normal, light come up, and I'm the only one like, what's going on here? <laughs> Okay, a little birdie <laughs> says to ask you, are you single, are you married? I know the answer to that question, and I know how <laughs> you react on social media when you're talking about pressure from your mom. So, Asan, how, uh, tell us how you deal with the pressure. I am single to certain people now. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I'm pretty single. Okay, Sadly. so how do you deal with the pressure? Of getting married? Yeah, because you tell me, I, I see away. your videos of your mom reacting. I stay away. <laughs> I don't even, my mom knows, don't even, don't even go there with me. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I'm so done with that. I'm so over that, and she knows. Um, but anyone else who I know, like, say if she's having guests and I come to visit, and I know that's that auntie that will be asking, where's your husband? When are you having kids? We are looking for babies. Your wedding, we want to wear Ashra B. You know, like, those aunties, those are the ones that I'm running to the room for, and I'll wait until they leave. I don't care what. This so. is our struggle, but thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Aunties, mommies, uncles, daddies, please do not pressure us to get married in 2019. Oh, we will please. marry when the husband comes. Or you can show us the shop where we can buy a nice looking husband mm. so that we can move On to the, the next website level. where we can <laughs> download them, actually. Yeah. To enjoy more of this, our Ogun Get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.